bad enough that I'm missing builds and splits, miners and everything. I don't know what he said. Some shit about blah blah, tiled and you nerd. Kind of like that. Pretty sure that's what uh, what he was going for there. So here comes the engineer. I bet you this is Latov. No. You guys could have made that bet with me, because I'm sure you noticed while the game was loading who was who. It's always good to check. Green is Matt. He's doing the stretch over. Like a comb over. He's gonna comb over. And there's gonna be a bald patch here. Because he's gonna sell that refinery. Anyway. Each player has the refineries. <laughs> Stupendous! I did a good one. Thanks, Yak. And I actually mean it. I'm trying to do good. Lols. I know I missed, like, a lot of things. And you know what? Other things happen, like, this arm is going up and down. How many times did I, I not see it going up and down? Who knows? You know, maybe it didn't go up and down, because if a tree falls in the forest, and no one's around to hear it, well, ain't that a bitch. So, two miners. And Matt's drone, his reputation precedes it. Looks like Latov feels the same. This is shit, though. This Let's see if any of Latov's tanks die going across the de depot. That's what they're called. It's a service depot. It's like Home Depot. It's a service depot for your home. It's a home game. Like poker. Yeah. I'm gonna shut up now. This miner might be dead. It is. What was the deal with that? Latov did exactly opposite of what you'd think he'd want to. He drew drove the tank off by itself and then the drone survived. But Matt's miner didn't survive, and he didn't get really any kind of payback for it. But he adapted well, he made miners. This is uh, one thing that Yak does pretty well, I guess. I noticed he made miners in response to losing some basically right away. Now, I don't know. When you lose miners, you don't have time to make miners a lot of the time. If you don't make miners, you probably lose. But if you've lost a lot of miners, it's going to be tough. Nice. <laughs> Down with the tyrant president. Do you know, we've got a case of uh, tyrant versus tyrant here. This is the battle of the tyrants. But I'm calling Matt the underdog, and I'm rooting for the underdog. Nice. Look at this. This is pretty creative. So, I want to show Latos base real quick, right? You guys can take a quick look. Thing is, like, if I hang on it, then we miss some really critical stuff, and I don't know if my FPS and scrolling and all. So that sentry gun went down for nothing. And, uh... This m tank is just looking... looks really loose. Like you could just pick it off. I think you could put a sentry gun right here. But he didn't. Is there a split happening? Well, there has been. But the Derek survived. Now, 
Matt has sold his base. Latov has expanded pretty well. Latov is a Yuri's Revenge player, as far as I know. This is a Yuri's Revenge map. I actually think the Red Alert 2 version of this map looks cooler. It's like a really nice sunny day here, and it looks like a pretty big dry heat. This looks like a big canyon. The, uh... Yuri's Revenge one is kind of darker. It's a little more dreary. I'm sure you guys give a shit about that. What's happening over here? Matt sold and he's... He's trying to put on the pressure. He's not doing a bad job. Latov is walking across the map with his buildings again. This gets really hard to deal with. Matt doesn't have that ability since he sold his MCV. He's probably feeling like he wants to... He doesn't want to continue to allow Latov to do this. Oh, that looked like it just... Gotta think that there's... Oh. God damn. Matt's like, fuck. 